Hi, I'm Dr. Rasya Dikshit. I'm a dermatologist practicing in Bangalore from the last 15 years. Dandruff is a condition which is very common. I think all of us have experienced it at some point of time. Normally, the scalp produces sebum, which is a mixture of hair oil as well as sweat, which is associated with the oil glands of the scalp. And when this is uh, allowed to grow with the normal fungus which are there in the scalp and there is an overgrowth of this fungus, there is an inflammatory component which means that there is the amount of flaking, oily secretion, the dead cells of the scalp, they all mix together and form a fungal overgrowth called dandruff. When the inflammation part becomes very severe and the skin itself starts to react, we call it seboric dermatitis or basically we are trying to give it a more medical terminology saying that it is little bit different from normal dandruff in which there is more of inflammation. So what are the causes here? You basically got a fungal overgrowth and you have a sebaceous overactivity or oil secretion is increasing. So we need to basically treat both. We need to reduce the oil secretion by giving sebostatic shampoos using coal tar or using an uh, antifungal element to reduce the inflammation from the fungal overgrowth. And if the inflammation is very severe because of the fungal overgrowth, even some oral antifungals may be added by your doctor. Usually because the uh, oil secretion cannot be controlled, it is something which is an ongoing process. Dandruff tends to be a very repetitive component and keeps coming back. And after some time, especially because some of most of these antifungal shampoos which are available over the counter have an antifungal component and the fungus may become resistant to it. You need to keep changing the molecule. You need to keep uh, you know, cycling with the product in order to get a good control of the dandruff. There is definitely a component of making sure that you are eating healthy and drinking enough water and eating a lot of fruits and vegetables because this will impact your overall health and your scalp health as well.